Diva, and in today's video, I am going to be touring the Rio. I'm out at Clayton Homes in Augusta, Georgia, touring these beautiful mobile homes, and I am super excited to share this home with you. So let's go on in, you guys, where it's quiet, and we can go and view this home. Hi family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specification, all the information I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. I'm gonna give you just a a brief overview of what you see when you walk into this lovely home. They have it beautifully decorated. It is so pretty, you guys. I absolutely love it. So let's turn around. That's the door that we came in. So you have your front door there. Let's see if I can, there you go. Put you on wide on angle. You have your front door there, lots of light in here. You have pendant lighting, vents in the ceiling. I absolutely love that feature wall, beautiful. Look at the flooring, you guys, super pretty. Love the light color, flooring. They just have it beautifully decorated. You've got your entry right here that gives you lots of space and lots of room to do whatever you like. They actually have a sofa table or a console table, whatever you wanna call it, behind the couch, which is super cute. But I can also see an entry table or a, a larger uh, console there, even a bench, super nice. I love that um, it's all vinyl flooring in here. This is a high quality vinyl you, got, vinyl, you guys. Super nice, wide panels, just really lovely. Over into the living room, you just have so much space to decorate it the way you see fit, just beautiful. Love that it, it just, this house is so light and so bright and I just love it. I love, 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 absolutely love this house so really really nice let's give you another pan of the living room here now from the living room it's absolutely open to the kitchen and dining room so this is your kitchen and your dining room you've got your sliding glass doors and your dining room area lots of space this particular table right here seats two four Four chairs and a bench, so six at this table, but you can look, the table just looks so small in that area, so you can absolutely put eight or a 10, or if you had a table with a leaf, you, you could absolutely put it in that area. You've got space for a buffet over here. You can just really decorate it the way you like. Just really, really beautiful, beautiful. Over into the kitchen, I love how you've got these lighter co color, like pine, cabinets but then you've got uh, a dark island you've got this pretty charcoal gray island the island seats three stools made like this um you know they might be a little wider than the stools that you use so you could possibly get four depending on how they're made but three looks perfect nice large island your sink is in the island in here, uh, but you've got lots of space still for people to sit and do homework, eat, or what have you. Great area for entertaining. Love the hood over the stove. Really, really nice. Love that you got all of this drawer space. 
you've got pot drawers as well as uh, regular drawers and you've got cabinet space you've also got in addition to your dishwasher you've got cabinet space in your island as well as electrical plugs really nice really really lovely super nice you've got all this pantry space over here above your refrigerator around your refrigerator which gives you even more storage space really nice love this little nook here you might be able to put some shelving or whatever you like in that area and then all around in the laundry you've got a butler's pantry more cabinet space open shelving over here this could be this is decorated with wine and different things but you absolutely could make this a beverage station or use it to fold your laundry or just whatever you decide to do with this area really pretty it's got a window over here that opens and then on around in the laundry room there's a separation and you do have shelving under there i would probably put a rod under the shelf for hanging and then your dryer goes on the left and your washing machine goes on the right love the separation of it though because if you don't extend this as part of the laundry room if you make it like a wine or a beverage station then there's a separation between it and the laundry room really lovely really really lovely love it love it love it now to the right of the front door to the right of the living room you've got your additional bedrooms so down this little hall you've got bedroom number one to the right all of the space in here let's see what the closet space looks like oh wow lots of space in the closet they just got this shelving tucked away in here this isn't a part of the closet this looks like a console or something they just have tucked away so you see how much space you got bring the shelving around make this a nice walk-in closet because you've got lots of space to put more shelving in there really lovely so this is bedroom number one I'll spin around and let you see it again. So that's bedroom number one. And then at the end of the hall, you got bedroom number two. Your closet is over here. Again, bring the shelving this way. Make good use of these walk-in closets, okay? Really lovely. This house is made like mine. And then right here is your guest bath. Really lovely. Love the big rectangular sink. Love it. Nice big mirror in front of the sink. Space for all your needs. Really pretty. So in this little hallway, you've got your two bedrooms here, your guest bath there. Not a long hallway, but it is a little separate. Okay, guest bedrooms. And then if you walk back through the living room in the kitchen, then your master is on this side of the house off the living room. Really lovely really really lovely no carpet in this bedroom there was carpet in the additional bedrooms but not in the master look at this large window you guys really nice you've got a nice walk-in closet here long closet Really nice. All right, pendant lighting even in here. Another view of the bedroom, nice large bedroom. 
and your master bath is over here. Love the long double sinks. Lots of drawers and open space. You can just give it a spa feel. I like how they have those towels down there. You've got drawers in, under your uh, double sinks as well as cabinet space. You've got an area over here to do whatever you like with. They, they put a little bench in here so after you get out the shower or the bathtub, you can sit on the bench and dry off and lotion down and everything. You've got a window in here that opens. Love how they brought the wood paneling in the two bathrooms, just like in the kitchen. This bathroom has a sink and, sho and shower combo, a tub and shower combo. But look how big this circular tub is. Like, you could absolutely relax in here. Really nice. Really, really lovely. You've got your toilet behind the door with a little wall here for privacy. And then you've got an additional closet in here. So his and her closet in the master. One person can have their stuff in here and the other in the closet in the bedroom. So that is nice. Or this could be like additional, like your long dresses and winter coats or your winter stuff in here, your summer stuff out there. Really lovely. Really lovely. This is really nice. I love this house. I absolutely love this. This is the Rio, you guys. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I don't remember seeing a price uh, over here when I came in. Oh, yes, I did. So this is the Rio. It's uh, here at Clayton Homes in Augusta. Base price is $111,367. Now I won't say that's the base price. It may be this house as is. So if you keep in mind, if you make any additional changes, add anything different, brick it in or what have you, it is that additional cost. But here in Augusta, this house as is $111,367. Hope you enjoyed this tour, you guys. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. See you in the next video. Chewy had fun tonight. You and me felt all right. But it's time, but it's time you pick up your phone. Mm -hmm. You won't be worth my while. Me and you won't work out. Pick it up, pack it up, get a cab and go. It's not your phone, my baby. It's not on you, my baby. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you You deserve somebody who's loving you You shouldn't call me later Promise it's for the better I'm just not the right kind of girl for you Cause I got a rule I hold on to my heart Share with nobody I don't want nobody else So serious, can't you just be mine for a night, my love? Take it off, put it on, then be on your way. It's not your phone, my baby. It's not on you, my baby. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you. You deserve somebody who's loving you. You shouldn't call me later. Promise it's for the better. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you. Cause I got a rule. It's not on you, my baby. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you. You deserve somebody who's loving you. You shouldn't call me later. Promise it's for the better. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you. Cause I got a rule. I hold on to my heart. Share with nobody. I don't
I'm just not the right kind of girl for you You deserve somebody who's loving you You shouldn't call me later Promise it's for the better I'm just not the right kind of girl for you Cause I got a rule I hold on to my 